Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use your smartphone as a data logger shield for your Arduino board with only one line of code. So we start off with the components, here we have the smartphone with the one shield app on it, we have a button connected on pin number 12 in the Arduino Uno with the one shield on top of it and a temperature sensor where we can, uh, so we can read the data from it. So here we're going to use two sensors actually, one is the physical one which is the temperature sensor and also we're going to use uh, the mic sensor in the smartphone and hence we're going to use the mic shield. So basically we have data logger shield and the mic shield. So we go to the code. As usual, we initialize the one shield library. We define a counter because here we're gonna log uh, 10, uh, 10 times the data. So, so we're gonna log the data for uh, 10 times. So we're gonna read the temperature and the mic uh, sensor for 10 times separated, of course, by a small delay, which we're gonna see uh, right now. We initialize the button on pin number 12. We set a flag where we're gonna check on this flag to like uh, start logging and once the 10 uh, units of data are, are stored we're gonna set uh, the flag again to uh, false okay and of course uh, the sensor value here which is a float is uh, is uh, which which we're gonna read the um, the data of the temperature sensor okay now in a setup we initialize one shield library we of course initialize the data logger uh, uh, shield we have this function logger.stop and you can check the details in the documentation section on our website. Logger.stop here, um, uh, we, we just like initialize the data logger file. So when we open a new file, we're gonna uh, write a function which is uh, logger.start, okay? And of course, we set the pin mode on pin number 12 to be input. Now, uh, in the loop itself, we check on the button if it's pressed, then we start uh, logging. So here, we also stop the file uh, again because we want to do this continuous. So each time we press the button, it's gonna uh, log uh, or, or start a new file. So we wanna close the file first and then start a new one, all right? And we put, of course, a delay with uh, about half a second here to give it a chance to open and close, and uh, sorry, close and open the new file, okay? Now, uh, logger.start here, now we open a new file and it takes uh, uh, the subject name here, which is mic and temperature uh, values, and then we set the flag to be true. Uh, of course, we check on the flag now, so if, if uh, start flag is true, we then uh, use this function, which is logger.add, and here we, uh, you can check also from the documentation section that this particular function takes uh, two parameters. One is the name of uh, the header of the, of the cell. So these units are in decibels, which are the mic sensor. So it takes two parameters. One is the name of, of uh, the cell itself, the header, which is gonna be decibels. And the other one is the data from the mic sensor. And if you saw earlier uh, the, the demo of the mic, um, uh, the mic shield in the getting started uh, tutorial we had earlier, okay? So this here, we started logging the data of the mic sensor. Now we're gonna start getting the data of the temperature sensor. So we have sensor value equal analog read because the sensor is connected on pin number A0, all right? And we multiply it by five over 1024, which is the resolution of the analog to digital converter in the Arduino itself. And we multiply it by 100 to get uh, the reading of the temperature. So this is like the sensitivity of the temperature sensor and everything is uh, described in details in the video. Uh, description. So then we again we we log that it, now that we got the data. Let's log it in the in the in the CSV file. So we have logger dot add temperature and then sensor value, just as the mic we made earlier. Okay, and of course we get a delay for uh, about half a second to give it a chance to store the data, and then we increase the counter. Then we check if if it if it counted the data for ten times. Okay, then we need to to close the file clear the counter and then set the flag back to false. Now, uh, back to, uh, to the app, let's see how it works. So here I'm gonna open the data logger file and the mic sensor. So mic here, there you go. And um, let's try and, and, and uh, so as you can see, the mic sensor is like, uh, is getting the readings as I speak, the volume increases. And here we're gonna press the button and start logging. So we're gonna change the temperature. I'm gonna speak loudly to change the mic sensor value. 
and there you go so it stopped logging now it has stored uh, all the data in a csv file on your uh, smartphone so if we go to um, uh, the the file explorer here on your android phone uh, there is uh, sorry if we go back yeah so in your folders you're gonna find a folder called one shield all right and a data logger now that you have uh, the name of the file itself mic and temperature all right so we're gonna open it and as you can see here you find the decibels the data in decibels and when I spoke uh, um, uh, loudly the data change of course the temperature also when I pressed uh, on the temperature sensor it, it heated up and the temperature uh, has risen all right and of course, uh, between time lapse here, the, the, this data is like separated by about half a second or uh, a second between each, uh, each amount of, of data stored. So that was pretty much it. Now you see how easy it is to get all these sensors data and put it on your smartphone. Now think about the applications. You can sense humidity, temperature, pressure, in your farm, in your house, and save all these data on your smartphone and then export it to a CSV file with only one line of code. Share with us your projects. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask us on our forum and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching.